We're walking around in a juicy sewer, so, uh... Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> poop. <laughs> I see this is where the dragon leaves all his uh, little belongings. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear the phrase little belongings mentioned in the same sentence as poop. <laughs> Well, sometimes you got your big packages, and then you got your little belongings. It takes all kinds to make the world go round. We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person, not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me in orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep! Right after I take a nap. Yes! Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. <sighs> I'll take care of Crispin for you. Just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, oh man. Greetings, Dr. Lobato. After the secret Lobato? <laughs> Tomohari Gatsum, Dr. Lobato. My eyes may be half gone. But I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto. You don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, then. Who the fuck are you? Who do dat do? What you painting there? That is my patron. My psychiatrist. My warden. My patron? Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> Draw a dick. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Draw a dick. Wow. See? Sometimes you just have to. Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh? Edgar, why do you. Every time! How did you know his name was Edgar? How does everyone know my name is Raz? We don't ask around here. Won't let you go. That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can Oh, so you can like write a story but not finish it. Don't at me. I didn't know you wrote Attack on Titan. <laughs> Don't leave me with that. I uh, I don't want all the death threats. Uh. Do they just like space out in a trance and we do this? I guess so. Like, do they just stand there drooling? What the fuck? Yeah, that's. Isn't that what you do when people brain fuck you? That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. Oh, so you're one of the people on OnlyFans. Got it. <laughs> this mission's just helping him get into OnlyFans. <laughs> we gotta raise enough money for the top tier. Set up a GoFundMe so we can get him in the top tier on OnlyFans. <laughs> Quick, let's start an OnlyFans to raise money to get him on the OnlyFans. It's a perpetuating cycle. <laughs> Quick, take out your knees. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <gasps> oh no, I have gone into a painting. Oh no, I've ended up in Tim Burton's village. This is Tim Burton's Coco. Yo, for real though? It kind of is. <laughs> I'd be down. I would totally watch that. Oh my god, are you alright? Poor little guy. Furry! 
Oh no! My one weakness! <laughs> I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Is he painting me? Yes, he was. I saw. I totally saw that. Excuse me, sir. I, I'd like to purchase a painting. Enjoy your new art there. Did, did I give you permission to use my likeness? I didn't sign the forms for this. Yeah, I don't believe I did. You can't do this to me. I'm union. What the hell is that on the card? It's a lady. Like on most of the, well, four of, of the cards, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> On most of the cards, you know, all of the ladies in the head deck of cards. Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa. It's Mucha Lucha time. Mucha Lucha. It's a way of life. Yo, Mucha Lucha was my shit. That was so good. Oh my God. So weird. Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good. Brass. <laughs> the sass. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. I am looking so for a blue eyes. I am afraid the sand man is going to have to bend way over to reach oh. you. Oh. Because you are so Oh, I don't, don't, don't do that. Oh, 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 okay. I never read that book, but uh, I don't like how that sounds. Yes, that's what happened in Neil Gaiman's Sandman. It's just a lot of gay sets. I've not read it either. That very well might happen, and I just don't know. <laughs> it's time for your actually good thing. The actual thing you're good at. Beating things. Yay! Finally! The wrestling ring is the most appropriate time to choose violence. There we go. <laughs> Sleep tight, kitty. What? We want blood. <laughs> These people are so fucking bloodthirsty in the fucking audience. I love it. It's like a real WWE or whatever. A, a real WWE as opposed to the fake WWE. I don't know. I don't, I don't wrestle. <laughs> because people that are in a WWE wrestle. Every single one of them. Do I look like I wrestle? Oh, I didn't hear the flamenco guitar in the back last time. That's fucking rad. It's a flamingo playing the guitar. <laughs> so, like, tier list time. Animals that could play guitar really well. Probably flamingo. They have feet. Like an orangutan, because they've got long arms. They have feet, too. You act as if you could not play the- <laughs> Wow. Sorry, bro. Fucking rude. You ever, like, go up to a person building a house of cards and knock it over? No, because I'm not a dick. <laughs> I've never done it on purpose. The fuck is this thing? It's like, a card. I know, but it's like, what is that around the card? Parts. It, it, it looks like Satan's butthole. Don't say that about her. She tries. <laughs> to look like it's Satan's promising. butthole. Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! So I love how all of these wrestlers are from, like, random locations in the U.S. It's not like New York or L.A., it's Billings, Montana, and Manila, fucking Iowa. Oh, is that where Billings is at? <laughs> What's that smell? How do you know that? Smells I've been like there. Fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! <laughs> No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went Damn. bad. <laughs> I shit myself, kid. I do it every minute to ward off my enemies. He just walks by with a trail of shit behind him. I did not mean to hit the fucking baton. I reject your hug. <laughs> I don't like personal affection. I don't like dragons. I'm not a scaly. Oh no, he shit himself. Oh, I didn't know there's an earthquake that's gonna happen after he shit himself. It's just the stinky wave. <laughs> Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> Dirty word, Raz. Hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? Yeah, how could you say dragon like that? Especially if you're not gonna follow it by D's nuts. We don't use that term around here. They're scalies. That's the term. They're scalinese. Scalinese. <laughs> Scalinese nuts. Scalinese <laughs> Shut up and take your card, buddy. 
I just got shit on for this, literally. So, uh... You owe me a solid after this. Yeah, I smell like death right now, bro. I must have those queens. You, you must bring me RuPaul. <laughs> I will have my revenge for not getting on this season. That's not the sound that kind of guitar makes. It's not, but I'll let it slide. It's also a bass. It's got four strings. What, you've never played a bass that sounded like fucking Eddie Van Halen? That looks like an acoustic? Nah, man. I'm not good enough for that yet. I'm amazed I can make a chord shape. You can also make a chord shape on a bass. Yep. If you're brave. Why would you? Now, to get into my history as a jazz guitar player. Oh my god, yes. Flaunt your fucking fancy fingers. I'm, you're not here to finger me, okay? Eh, well, too late for that. You can use chords on a bass to harmonize with some of the guitar and allow the guitar to do more solo stuff because you're keeping the harmony in the background. Wow, big. I, I see I see you're a fucking moron when it comes to this, but talk about your jazz hands and you're a fucking genius. I mean, to be fair, that's like the one thing I got going for me is my jazz hands. Like, if I'm in an argument, I pull out the jazz hands. <laughs> If I get intimidated, I pull out the jazz hands. It's a self-defense mechanism. If I get into a gang fight, I just start snapping and pull out the jazz hands. You know that whole sequence in fucking... Oh, gosh, I forgot the name of the thing. Uh, the one that's going to be a movie. The thing with the sharks and the jets. Um, West Side... West Side Story. Yeah, it, that whole scene in West Side Story where there's, like, the fake gang fight. Yeah, that's me with my jazz hands. Is it a fake gang fight? It seems pretty aggressive to me. <laughs> I don't know. I've not been in a lot of gang fights, but I feel like it doesn't usually break out into song and dance. What I'm learning is that bulls do not like the circus. Yeah, I don't know. I guess years of, like, animal abuse made them not the biggest fan of the fucking circus. Jumped a little early. I could feel it. I, I, once I fell, I was like, oh no, it's that sinking feeling. Like, that feeling after you've eaten Taco Bell. You have a lot of bad experiences with Taco Bell, because that's like the number one thing you always go to. <laughs> it's like, this is like, oh, this is like when I ate Taco Bell. The Most of my experiences eating Taco Bell are fine. It's the problem that the ones that aren't are super memorable. Like most times I can get like a fucking chalupa and it's like, oh, it's perfectly fine. But that one time you get the bad chalupa. All it takes is one bad chalupa. But I like chalupas. They're good. I love Taco Bell. Not sponsored, but hit me up. <laughs> Not sponsored, but willing to be if you're if you're into it. It, it. It's the fucking equivalent of like, of the fucking nice guy. Like, oh, I'm kidding. Unless. What if we maybe held hands in the Taco Bell? What if I maybe held hands with Taco Bell? I'm starting to feel like I'm back in high school, which is weird because I'm only ten. Wait, what? I, apparently, I missed something real fucking weird there. We're walking around in a juicy sewer, so, uh... Mmm. Mmm, poop. <laughs> I see this is where the dragon leaves all his uh, little belongings. <laughs> the phrase... I don't ever want to hear the phrase little belongings mentioned in the same sentence as poop. <laughs> well, sometimes you got your big packages, and then you got your little belongings. It takes all kinds to make the world go round. All right, Eggler. E Eggler. Eggler. <laughs> Eggler's omelets. Eggler's dement. Oh, it says um, Lana and Eggler forever. Lana Del Rey. I guess. They got married. He's a short king. He's got big fucking hands. <laughs> this was at the water set from that stage like two stages ago. She's- I'm assuming that's a dress, otherwise she got fucking jacked. Yeah, look at her rock that unitard. <laughs> She's kind of hunched over. They're playing- oh, that's wrestling. The first second there, the guy in the middle looked like he was wearing a football helmet, and I was super confused. This is how you football. This is- this is the NFL's homecoming, um, all-star playoff. <laughs> Sports. That sounds like a sporting event that was created by an AI if you told it to make a sporting event. <laughs> Look at all these sports guys. 
<laughs> playing, the, playing their ball. Where's the ball, guys? <laughs> Don't drop the ball at this sports event. Don't drop the ball until you score the goal at the sporting event. And then, oh, God. That the the middle cheerleader there has his hand in some very precarious positions there. Why don't he better not look up his dress there? That's rude. Well, it's, it's too late. He's already looking up. If you look at his eyes, <laughs> she might drop a deuce on you. <laughs> she might leave a little belongings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't even know what's happening here. This like high school romance thing, I guess. He's like he's like flexing, but she's mad that they lost the sports ball game. <laughs> And that dude looked up her dress, and she shit on him. It's been a long day. Uh, well, I mean, I would be happy if I shit on him if he looked up at my dress. Oh, she fell in love with Giga Chad over here. Turns out she liked that she shit on him, and he liked that he shit on her. They're like a perfect match, if you know what I mean. Oh, God. No one asked for this. He's heartbroken. The referee blew the whistle because he... Dropped the ball at the sporting event because his ex-girlfriend was making out with another dude. We've all been there, right? And he, like, shit himself during the match to try to impress her, but it was too late. He, his belonging was not little enough for her. That's why you gotta, you gotta eat worse. Don't, don't, don't take too big of shits. You should have went to Taco Bell. <laughs> See, even they're mad that he didn't go to Taco Bell. He was supposed to pick up their chalupas! Asshole! I'd be super mad. And he ate them all on the way back, so that's why he's sad. This has been A Tale of Two Chalupas. Oh, we're gonna fight a bird. We're gonna fight Tony Hawk. Again. I can fucking put him in his place for not being a furry. <laughs> this whole level is just beating up furries. Introducing, back from a crushing victory and someone might lose a tooth in Duluth. Duluth? Where the fuck is Duluth from? Um... Like, Minas, it's like one of those places. It's like a one of the Minna places. You know, it's like Minna, Indiana. Yeah. It's Minianda. Minianda. <laughs> Minianda. <laughs> hey! What the f- <laughs> I feel violated. See, birds have feet. He could totally play the guitar. Face me with your purple nipples. <laughs> it's a battle for who has the best nipples. Spoiler alert, we win. Damn right. <laughs> Is he wearing pasties? Like, there's no way that's natural. Don't judge him for his purple nips. Well, it's not just that they're purple. It's that they're like the shape of bird's eyes. It's part of his theme. He took one look in the mirror and he was like, oh, shit. This is me, IRL. This is my gimmick. My nipples. This is my bird sona. So, like, if you're into bird people, does that make you a furry? Because it's not fur. It's a birdie. Well, you know, birds are technically, like, part of the reptile class, so you're a scaly still. I, I guess I haven't got any tags. No, because you've actually been making progress for once. I think I accidentally went into the wrong place. Oh, no, I didn't. Fuck yeah. See? Progress. 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 <laughs> it's exciting progress. <laughs> Oh, for, can I just go anywhere without shit trying to kill me? No, it's like it's it's like you it's like it's a game, and you have to fight. I don't want to fight. I want to love. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> duffel bag, get in the way. Yes. There you. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you wanted to go get the tags. <laughs> 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 Who knew they would be so useful in a time of need? Eggler's love. Girl is like, who? whoa, who the fuck put a lock on my locker? That's weird. Can you imagine? Like, what asshole would do that? I feel like you would do that. No, I'll put it on my, lo on my locker and then forget what the combination is. <laughs> so Buff Dude just walked over and he tore the door off the hinges like a fucking Chad. In an incredible display of violence that would inevitably get him expelled. But that's okay. They went for dinner afterwards. She really likes milkshakes. He could take or leave them. This is not a Taco Bell. <laughs> they don't serve milkshakes at Taco Bell. Wait, this isn't Taco Bell. This is Chipotle. This is why they broke up. 
Neither of those should be good date spots for the record. <laughs> First date, we're going to Target. <laughs> going to Target. We're going to hang around the lingerie aisle. I can pick you out something nice. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'm going to buy a toaster. Because <laughs> after we have sex, we're going we're gonna to get some buttered toast. That's what they're doing here. They're going to have sex and then they're going to have buttered toast. They're walking to Target. Underneath the moonlight. Very romantic. What, was she cold? <laughs> That's your fault. You should have worn a coat. Why are you wearing a fucking cheerleader outfit? It's freezing. I'm not even going to give you my jacket. I'm just going to take it off to show you how strong I am to endure this cold. Well, that I'm wearing long sleeves, too. Like, I was prepared for the weather. I dressed for this date. Bitch stole my jacket. Give it back. So from this angle... At least what I'm looking at, it looked like they aged up like 50 years. Oh no, they did an up. <laughs> oh no, they did it old. They did an M. Night Shyamalan's old. Because that's the best fucking title ever. Title battle, pig versus old. Who wins? <laughs> old pig. Old. <laughs> then she gave him a rose, which would fucking hurt. Like you ever try to chop down a rose bush? Fucking blows. Would not recommend. Some say love is like a rose. Something, something. Bette Midler. My brain did not go to Bette Midler. It went to Brett Michaels. It should have gone to Seal. Sorry, it would never have gone there. Wow. It, it looks like his jacket is the same pattern as his shirt, so it looks like it's just one big shirt that they're wearing. She looks like a duck. <laughs> Quack. And this is why he has a bird in his brain. He's really into fowl. And that's why they call him Eggler. Can you imagine, like, having a bed, one that's this big, and two, just has this face at the end of it? Yeah, it's like a fur bed. I said this this level is just the house of furries. It's like Madame Tussauds' house of furries. You want an autograph? Oh, yeah, butt chin. Yeah, he's gonna I shit out of it. For you. <laughs> See, like, I, I'm not a big fan of my face, but I'm glad I do not have butt chin. Yeah, but then you'll never be Peter Griffin or Stan or literally the other, all the other Seth MacFarlane characters. Oh, such a shame. I won't be in Family Guy in the later seasons. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Oh, to be rich and in Family Guy. To be rich and Seth MacFarlane. That's just Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> Let's be real. I mean, yeah, he's made more money than I will ever see. What the fuck is this shower? It's a poop shower. Uh, for his butt chin. It looks like a car wash. Yeah, you can see his chin. It's like he's washing a dump truck. You, you need poop shower if you have a dump truck ass. <laughs> hey, Edgar. Nice headgear, freak. What? what? It's pronounced you Eggler. What is this fucking Coach voice? Like, he's super big and intimidating, and he sounds like a 12-year-old bully. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look! I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegly. <laughs> Smegma. Ew. Ew. I don't want to have to hurt you. There's like the fucking sign in the background there that says we want blood. What if it's like, what if it said like we want smegma? <laughs> Why would you want it? What do you do with it? I don't know. You just chew it like a piece of bubble gum? Uh, uh, <laughs> why would you say that? Is it chewy? I don't know. I, uh, I, I've never had on. <laughs> I've never had a schmegma. I haven't. Thank God. Did all of these guys just have weird nipples and I not notice it? Or maybe their nips are normal and you're the freak. You ever think about that? No, because they've got weird nipples. Even if I'm the freak, my nipples aren't as weird. Okay, but like, what makes a, what is a normal nipple when you think about it? Everyone's are different. It's like an egg. Yeah, except that they're not supposed to be the colors of the rainbow. I mean, if you fly that flag, you fly that flag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just because like you're, being LGBT doesn't turn your skin into a rainbow. 
<laughs> then I've been doing it wrong. Like, that doesn't- uh, that doesn't make me taste like Skittles. Well, then you're doing it wrong. You'd probably get more head if you did. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about my insides, I'm talking about the everything. Like, nobody give me head, they just try to eat me. All you do is just bathe in, like, melted Skittle. And then you're, like, covered in rainbow. I feel like melted Skittle would just, like, it would, like, harden and then you'd get stuck in it. Well, you don't let it harden. You're just permanently melting. That sounds awful. How hot would a Skittle have to be to melt? Um, well, if you leave them in your car, they're kind of mushy, so that. So, like, Satan's butthole. Fill your car with Skittles, a la Mr. Beast, sit in there for a while, and then you'll get all the ladies and or whoever you are vying for. Uh, I, I don't know. If it, if it means I become Mr. Beast, I don't know if I want that. What, you don't want to be a fucking millionaire? I'm not saying there's, like, something wrong with Mr. Beast, but there's something about him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it because his name is Mr. Beast and he is not a furry? Yes. Okay. That's the problem. It, it doesn't match up. Like, if he was a furry and a millionaire, then it'd be fine. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of furry millionaires. Save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, Whoa. how did you kill him? Whoa, what? Kill who? What? El Odio. I didn't. Edgar? This guy's been a bull this whole time. <laughs> the real bull is the friend we made along the way. Man, I've heard of bullshit, but this is ridiculous. So we've been walking through his poop this whole time. Ah, oh, my dream to be walking through bullshit every day. <laughs> As if you don't already. I need like three slots for this. I do have three slots. Let me. Yes, you have <laughs> fucking three slots. <laughs> I've always had the fucking shooting ability as the third one, so I kind of forgot it could change. Uh, there we go. Eat shit. What? Great throw. Great throw. We should go back to wrestling. I gotta get the aim. I'm trying to get the fucking aim right so I don't throw it right into the floor. Well, you've done that three times now, so... You're not doing something right. There. See? I did the thing. Now stop yelling at me, Dad. God. Well, if you weren't such a disappointing son, I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm embodying Raz's father at the moment, thank you. Oh, I'm so fucking... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I should get an Oscar. Oh, what? There. There. Fuck me. God bless. Where? Am I? Thank you for preparing the pool, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. It's what? all in your head. <laughs> You're a psychopath. So I'd ruin your life. Um, what's up with the junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G. G. Give me an O. Oh, I'm going to murder these guys. Oh, I can't wait. Happiness. Give me an L. My life. Give me an L. What is he doing? Are we seriously like, like working through his high school drama? Yes, yes we are. This is his date to Taco Bell gone horribly wrong. He's got a square ass too. That other guy is no ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do not shove it back into him. Oh, you fucking you got back in the way. <laughs> you <laughs> threw it back into him. He, How? I aimed it. <laughs> Just aim away from him. Here comes El Odio. <laughs> Yeah, good job. You murdered a man. Good. That's what I came here to do. Man, she's very jiggly. She's very cheerleadery. Uh, please, Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic 
to hurt you anymore. <laughs> Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. <laughs> you broke his butt. I, I broke his so butt, Jim. Over these losers. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I always loved you more. He's actually dead. <laughs> Like that, that, that was just really pathetic. <laughs> this whole thing. Like, we spent all this time dealing with that guy's prunky high school drama. Mm hmm. Find. Eggler. Tagley. When you deliver this to my patron. Tagley, what? You may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out. You can do that? You have I guess so. My mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No ball. Ha ha ha. You make light of my mental problems, and still, I have <laughs> rage. <laughs> it's almost as if I feel that every day. Wait, what? <laughs> 